damn cold out there. How's everything this evening, Liza? Not good, sir. It's the missus. She shut herself in a nursery again. I can't get her to come out. Bloody hell. I thought we'd finished with this months and months ago. I can't sit and watch her the whole time. I have chores. Yes, of course. I'll go right up. Wake her. You know you're not allowed to be alone with her. She's my daughter. You lost that privilege when I discovered your little secret. I've said sorry more times than I can count. And haven't I made amends? I've, I've been doting on her ever since. Look, I curled her hair. Isn't it lovely? I wish for years that you would be a good mother. And now look at her. She's almost grown up. You won't ever tell her, will you? No. I never tell. Come. We must get some sleep. Well, I can't leave the nursery. Not tonight. Wendy, does this have something to do with that damned imaginary flying boy? He's not imaginary. Ask Michael. Ask John. I have. They've admitted it's a childhood game. Nothing more. They're lying. Perhaps they, they've really forgotten. He's coming. Charles, I just know that tonight is the night. It's 15 years, this very day that we fought Captain Hook and his motley crew of pirates and we won. Childish nonsense! Do we have to pay another visit to that psychiatrist? No. Please. I know it seems silly. I know it's just make-believe, but allow me my fantasy for all time's sake. You can trust me, it's been almost a year. Fine. Then one final night in the nursery, and let it be done with. Why, you're so old. Yes, I grew up. Couldn't help it. You're different than I remember. I thought you'd be at least 15, 16. You look about 12. Well, no matter. I'm ready. 
Ready for what? For you to take me back to Neverland, of course. Take you back? But I came here for Wendy. I am Wendy. But I thought she was Wendy. That's my daughter, Jane. Daughter? You mean she came out your body? You really have grown up. Well, good thing Jane is here. She'll make a perfect mother for the lost boys. Can't possibly take Jane. She's quite ill. I know. I've seen. What do you mean? I've seen you. Only I didn't realize it was you doing it. I thought you were some loony nanny. I don't know what you're implying. You've been giving her laudanum. I found all your hiding places. Uh, between the mattress, in the trunk, under the rug. I was going to take in a Neverland before, but she's always been too sick to fly. Peter, you're being ridiculous. I would never do- Don't lie. Only grown-ups lie. Why did you do it, Wendy? Why did you poison your own child? I knew you'd come for her. I couldn't let you take her. Peter, I want to go back to Neverland. Much too disheartening being grown up. Men don't see women as equals here. The fairer sex is expected to live a life of frivolity. Going to parties, wearing fancy dresses, having only the husband's opinion. I have no voice. Women don't even have the vote. In Neverland, I could fight pirates. Strategize about war plans with Indians. Study the mermaids at the lagoon. I had independence. I was free. That's not an excuse, Wendy Bird. You're nothing but a monster. Oh, that's not true. Admit it. You were supposed to be Jane's mother. You were supposed to love her more than anything, but you almost killed her. You're worse than that cat hook. Admit it. You're right. I'm a monster. I'm you a monster. Poor Wendy, darling. I've come to take you to Neverland, Jane. Neverland? Yes, I've heard about that from my Uncle John. It's magical. Yes, but we have to leave now. Just a little fairy dust and I think you can finally fly. Uh, Peter, you can't have Jane. You take me instead. It doesn't work that way. grown-ups. You can't fly anymore. You're no longer young or innocent. Come on, Jane. Don't worry, Mama. I'll be back soon. from here to a better place second to the right and straight on till morning all right mama
Wendy! <laughs> 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 <laughs>